Explain what that the, is. Yeah, what is the bread to... song? It's an artist the bread story. song? It's... Okay, well, we'll get back to that. We'll back hey, to that. everybody! <laughs> uh... Today on the Pocket Dimension, we're talking about Daggerheart 1.3, baby! Sweeping the nation. <laughs> Bienvenidos uh, to the to the uh, Pocket Dimension Live, everybody. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm, I'm AK. Black. I'm wearing I'm, flowers. I'm Evan. I'm wearing a boiled m- a merino wool uh, oh, sweatshirt boy. by <laughs> Banana Republic. <laughs> so bougie. Uh, and I'm Fitz, and yeah, I'm wearing a druid hoodie made by our dear uh, Evan Bivens. I have to say that as the member of this here cast that is color vision deficient, I appreciate the audible that y'all just called, oh, just to make yeah. sure that I'm aware. Hey. Is, Should is I that... be wearing more neutrals just in general so that <laughs> no. you never have to worry about it? more accessible? Well, my question is, Fitz, is that hoodie, is that black? Is that dark green? It's hard to tell. It, oh, it is, it is like a charcoal black. Oh, beauty mm, black hole sun, won't you come? Exactly. What do we have? We've got, I see Kai is here. I see oh. Seth is here. Oh. I see Tabletop Phoenix has oh. made it. Yeah. Sarah Mops. Oh. That's one boxy llama has joined the That's chat. one boxy llama. <laughs> Mike is here. Nerdy W is here. And there's somebody, oh, Digital Twist is here. Uh-huh. Uh, somebody very special is here. Somebody very special celebrating a birthday is here. Happy birthday, Jax. We love you. Thank you for being our pocket pal. <laughs> oh, good work, brother. Thank you. That was you. practicing that before we we went on, and it was it was a little bit dirgy. So yeah. I, think that was, <laughs> I get dirty. Uh, that was better. Put a little pep in there. Uh, Jax, Thanks. we love you so much. So much. We love you so much. And so you glad no you could idea. be here today. I saw that you hadn't mm-hmm. been here in weeks. Yeah, we missed and, you. Uh, and today is your hollow. day. Today is literally your day. Happy Jax Day, your everybody. Day. It's your Looney day. Looney the Dragon, happy birth, birth fay here in the fay. Oh. That is the pocket oh. oh, I see I what like you did that. there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see what you mm-hmm. did there. And I what heard a fun there. little rumor that our good pal Seth the GM is, you know, professional GM hireable extraordinaire at SethMcKay.com uh, is DMing a one shot for Jax and her family in celebration <gasps> of the. I know, isn't that fun? Oh, I that love that. Fun. Oh my gosh, I all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart just dear. exploded. A uh, wow. one shot of, of what? Yeah, tell yeah, us, yeah, yeah tell us. What's the hook? And or I'm assuming y'all are playing 5e, not not wandering into DC 20 Dagger Heart or otherwise. Course. The yeah. hook is you have to save Jax's birthday. Oh no! From R-N-R. Vecna. R-N-R. From goblins. From Vecna. From Vecna. From Vecna. <laughs> I went goblins. Spoiler alert: Vecna. you die. <laughs> <laughs> half, half of half of the people that you see on this screen have been killed by Vecna. Yeah. Uh, well, and for the other two, it's, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. That's right. Isn't it <laughs> has right? all the time. <laughs> has the uh-huh. thing that you don't have. All the time yeah. and all the different dimensions to yeah. be a baddie in. A One day. Surprise. That's right. Yes. Running up that hill. That's yep. Adorable. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. Anyways. Mystery, yeah. intrigue, and a few surprises. Yeah. Says, Speaking of Vecna. Yeah. Speaking of Vecna. Let's talk about Daggerheart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I, is Vecna quick. in Daggerheart yet? Yeah, no. Porting over just... Vecna to Daggerheart. Y'all haven't met the y'all haven't met the big bad evil guy of your. Uh... I I had one I had one quick uh, faff question. Oh. Just I wanted to know how many people saw the total eclipse of the sun. Um, mm. I I went to Indiana. I drove to Indiana to do so, mm-hmm. and it was talk about shedding tears. It's it's. It's a Did primal you, experience. Oh, you cried? You cried? Uh, I, I teared up. Lindsay just went, oh, 
If she couldn't help it. It's not like, oh, wow. she's not like a. She's not like that. That's no, she's no, not. not. I'm actually was, shocked by that. It was full. It was a full, like, just Somatic overwhelming. Experience. Because you're looking at the damn sun, which I know doesn't sound as crazy as it actually is, but yeah, you have glasses. Wild. And even if it's like a hairline sliver of, the, of the sun, the you cannot look at it. Yep. But if it is just black hole sun, uh, you can look at it and, and it has a Corona, but it's like, whew, that was amazing. Oh. It was... I, I only saw an 81% eclipse. That's of okay. The sun. Yeah. yeah. We weren't, we weren't going to get a full eclipse on this side of the, the country. Yeah. That's um, true. I forgot about I that. walked around my neighborhood with some pretty, pretty deep FOMO cause I didn't have glasses. Oh, oh I, I had glasses. It. So I was doing this for about 45 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> my friends yeah. were like all like talking behind me and like just yeah. carrying on, and I was like, "You got." They're like, there, "There's." Um, I, I was still enthralled by it. I you were yeah. there for it. I was yeah, gonna I ask Jax uh, what percentage we had, but she already was in there. We we were about ninety percent. I had yeah. my glasses on though, yeah. staring yeah. directly at yeah. the sun that was blocked by a huge cloud. Oh, yeah. mother jammer! It's okay. Now was the twenty seventeen? Was that a? Was that not a full eclipse? That was full to. to it's always a, a full it eclipse. It was further to east. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it, so we, Columbia, we got the full eclipse here, right? Mm -mm. Uh, I think where you and I Don't were, we were at 98%. You um, take that away from me, Allison. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. <laughs> you I did. don't. You didn't. I don't you didn't. Remember. Yeah. No. It, Columbia and Greenville, South Carolina. I, and I, I, I like talk about FOMO. I wish that I had driven the hour away to, to experience yeah. it fully. We got mm. to 98% in Charlotte and it was still cool as hell. I still, yeah. even though we were only at okay. 80%. I still like it's so cool because it did get dimmer, it got cooler, it got windier, and the bugs and the birds, yeah, they and stopped. also the shadows of the leaves like through the yeah. trees, like it's still magical. I say, but yeah. not as magical as total. Well, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna yes and your magic and okay. say if you want to travel somewhere to see a full eclipse, and I'm talking to you guys out there too. We're all going 2026 mm -hmm. to Iceland. We're gonna LFG. sit inside of a volcano. Mm -hmm. and watch yep. the sun. We're going to feel the sun okay. because there'll be volcanic magma on our bodies. Yep. So we'll feel like we're getting burned by the sun uh -huh. while we're looking at it. Are you ready? Yep. Yes. Lindsay's yeah. actually talking about it. She really actually I, wants I'm, to. I mean, I'm joking, I'm but I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I've always wanted to go to Iceland. Borealis. And yeah. Oh, at the yeah, same time? Yeah, the aurora's supposed yeah. to be at a peak this year. Um, it oh. goes on like an 11 year, <laughs> or it's 11 or 17 years. I think it's 11 years. So by 2026, it's going to be like... I know, I I know. Know. Did anybody buy a cute and strange plant? <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Good work. Um, yeah, let's Love all. It. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will not be at all inexpensive to uh, go to Iceland no, for, a, for an eclipse. But I'm, so I'm here for it. Right now. Let's go. Yeah. Let's start planning. Okay. Yeah. Pocket Con. Pocket there it is. Pocket, Pocket Con, Con from Iceland a 2026. <laughs> from a volcano. Yeah. Feels right. Yeah. Feels good. Feels you've right. Heard, you've heard of Traveler Con from a volcano. We're here to bring you Pocket, Pocket Con. Pocket Con. Exactly. There's precedent. <laughs> yeah, it's precedent. We're, we're going to be there worshiping the Traveler and um, also. <laughs> and the Lord's below. <laughs> and Bjork. Oh, I want to sit on Bjork's lap. Yes. Uh, of course. Um, if, Consensually. Uh, uh, Iceland is a bomb and it's going to blow. Cons okay. <laughs> if she wears the swan suit. Amazing. Yeah. You got to ask Bjork. You don't want to, you don't want to uh, assume, you know, well, you Ew. don't want to assume. You also don't want to get on Bjork's bad side. She Jax, you a volcano is kind of like a lava pocket. <laughs> mm. You know what yeah. else is like a lava pocket? Uh, hot pockets. Um, a hot pocket. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that's exactly where you were going. Exactly. With that. And speaking of hot pockets, lava pocket. Sorry. Rebrand coming soon. Was... <laughs> <laughs> well, you, did, you, you did name this chapter of this of the outline meat and potatoes. 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 Speaking um, of speaking of volcanoes. Speaking of potatoes. Potatoes. Potato. Potato. I'm going volcanoes. on an adventure right. into Daggerheart 1.3. There mm -hmm. it is. Here it is. Are people excited about it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've I've been devouring uh, the change log. I want to just say out of the gate as we move into talking about this, I just want to call out one of my favorite parts, which is the thoughtfulness that is mm -hmm. Darrington Press Critical Role. Mm -hmm. They um, they they very thoughtfully packaged it. So if you've already started to print things out, 
they give you a, a packet with just the updated cards. So you don't mm -hmm. have to reprint everything. You can just grab what you need without having to arrange pages and stuff like that. So thank you for honoring and respecting and seeing our ink usage. Darrington Press, we love you. Yeah. yeah and, and AK, allow me to yes and that. And this is kind of this thought doesn't really go is neither here nor there. But I was thinking this morning that, you know, a, a, per, a more cynical person could say Critical Role slash Darrington Press could just, could they, they could really just get away with capitalizing on Crit, crit Roll's success and just put any old game out and know that some chunk of people are going to buy it. Mm -hmm. But they tr truly haven't done that. Like the, yeah. you, just kind of picking backing off what you're saying about mm -hmm. how they really do care. They really have put a lot of care into making something that's pretty sick. So yeah. and and I, you, I I have not finished it. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, did, I was, but I I watched a chunk of the live stream with Matt and Spencer and Spencer's mm. here, and and I just immediately was like, they're talking about this game already in a modular way. Five mm -hmm. A Five E also has that, you know, alternate mm -hmm. rules and mm -hmm. other modular things that you can pick and choose, of yep. course. And then there's a world of homebrew, but the fact that they're kind of like. We're not just going to pander to everybody, but yeah. your immediate responses, your overwhelming wave was, what if we really love tactical games and we love Daggerheart, right? Like mm -hmm. we've been talking here about choosing the RPG that fits you. And, and it sounds like the team wants to give people options to play a crunchier game, to play a initiative system if it doesn't fit in their group and yeah. i love the way that they immediately call out like for sh p players who might be more shy or players mm -hmm. that aren't as comfortable or, or new groups together yep. and the idea of action tokens being used uh uh, uh similar to dc20 and stuff anyway so i'm yeah. getting ahead yeah but I, just let's, the well, care and the yeah, modular let's jump into so it cool. let's do it yeah uh by the way what did i tell y'all after watching the matt and spencer I talked about Spencer's hair. Here's Rock Jaw. <laughs> I haven't Rock seen this. Both <laughs> Matt's mentioned it. You've mentioned it. Rock Jaw's mentioned lot. it. What What's up with the hair? I well, haven't seen Sp it. I mean, Spencer already is rocking the kind of like emo yeah. swoop yeah. wiffle messy. But I, I swear every swoop video. Wiffle? <laughs> yeah. Swoop wiffle. Swoop wiffle. We, I'm from originally from Birmingham, Alabama. There's a suburb called Hoover. And when I was growing up in Alabama in the 90s, all the boys from Hoover had what we called the Hoover wiffle. Dang. It was this like think about like the late '90s emo cut like swooped across <laughs> the, feathers. the forehead, yeah. And so we all called it the Hoover Whiffle. And so I've now oh, just God. carried that into my life. Um, but yes, a swoopy Whiffle. Swoop Whiffle. <laughs> hey. hey. But it, it, it feels intentional. Like I feel like Spencer is making is. his hair like bigger and bigger until we say something. And here we mm -hmm. are, Spencer. We see you. We, see we you, applaud buddy. you. We yeah. think you are I'm not yeah. mad. Really? Yeah, someone's What's a mad scientist. Name? You know, he's yeah. so focused on the game. It's like it's Stark. getting. Sorry. Yeah. Einstein. He's going... yeah. yeah. So um, what we're really here to talk about, Spencer Stark's hair. Um... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like a, he is like a uh, an anime character, kind of. Yeah. Kai gets it. Kai, see, this is why we're friends. Oh. You know the Hoover Whipple. You know exactly oh, wow. what I'm talking about. All okay. right. Wow. You know what's up. You know what's up. You know what's up. <laughs> Yes, Jeff. Uh, Swoop I, I, whiffle. I say that. <laughs> I say that as as a brookie, which only makes sense to anybody who grew up in and around uh, Birmingham. I'm sure there's lots to say about that. Um, so yeah. So yay, good on good on them. Good on Spence. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what? So that was my first thing, uh, and then to kind of just dive right into some of the changes. Matt's already mentioned one, which yeah. is the variant rule has been introduced about giving every player three action tokens. Once you spend your action tokens, so it's still not initiative, but once you spend your tokens, you can't do anything else until everybody else has spent their tokens. Just to yeah. give oh, some to sort control of... the unruly. Mm -hmm. Yes, to control um, those who refuse to be controlled. So but what's awesome, or what's interesting <laughs> about that is, I feel like you know, now that we've played a, a smidge, I don't think anybody has done three action tokens worth of stuff mm -hmm. on any one turn. So that's kind of generous. Yeah, I think so too. Well, but I, I don't necessarily think it's on your turn, is it? Or like, is it just like to make, like, so like if you go and you spend an action token and yeah, then I Matt goes just... and then you take one and like Evan's just sitting over yeah. here and now Matt takes another turn and you take it. You know, so, yeah. Um, 
so we play, we've already played what we're now calling episode one of our forthcoming Daggerheart actual play. Oh. Um, and it, it was done with using version 1.2. We will mm -hmm. be filming the follow up this Sunday and we will be imparting 1.3. I don't think we're going to use this though, because y'all yeah. were great. Mm. I, I think this is one that for us, but like for instance, I'm later this month doing two sessions of Dagger Heart with um, our patrons. Mm. I'm going to ask each group if they want to, and I'm just going to let it be spoiler alert groups. If you're watching, I'm going to let that be a group void, group void, group, yeah, group vote. Void. <laughs> if you would like to use the a John Voight, a John Voight, yes, John Voight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't be uh, john boy he's kind of a yeah <clears throat> yeah uh we also the, the session zero that we did also has 1.2 i just realized yeah rules uh but. galaxy you're not late you're right on time you missed us uh mm -hmm. talking about lava hot pockets and wishing jacks a happy birthday <laughs> that's about it mm -hmm. um Any okay so one of my biggest like shocks and changes is mm -hmm. the updates to advantage and disadvantage yeah. Okay. Lay it on me. Lay it on me. Yeah, I have so, feelings about that, and I have I some feelings it. about things that specifically are going to mess with Dottie. We'll talk about that. Yep. Later. So okay. 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 So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay out exactly what it is, and then I want to just cut to Fitz yeah. uh, talking Fitz's about this. Fitz's take. It's, yeah, Fitz's take. So the D6 is out. Boing. Interesting. If you okay. have advantage or disadvantage, you ooh, um, you now roll an extra hope dice. If you're rolling at advantage, you get to pick whichever roll you want to, like, so basically you get to choose the higher one. If you're rolling at disadvantage, you have to take the lower one. And the reason that they did this is because that way it gives you a better hope as a player of rolling with hope. Because you're rolling two hope and one fear. And then taking the highest number. And then that way you have hmm. kind of two chances for the hope die to be higher than the fear die. Um, and then disadvantage, oh, okay. you could still roll, You've... even with disadvantage, you could still succeed, but you have, again, even at disadvantage, a higher likelihood of rolling with hope, potentially, unless... Oh, so, so, so even with disadvantage, you're still rolling with an extra hope die. You're not yeah, rolling correct. with an extra fear die. But you have to take die. a lower oh. one. So, like, yeah, okay. presumably, you could roll a three on your fear die, a four on one hope, and a five on the other. You have to take the four... <laughs> But the hope, like the, the, you still have a shot. So you're saying there's a chance. Um, huh. Yeah. That's interesting. interesting. Okay. And mm -hmm. I'm going to go hmm. one further before we start discussing this, just because yeah. I want to cover everything all at once. This yep. also applies to the help action. So instead of you rolling like, Evan, I'm going to help Matt, and you rolling that D6, you're going to roll one of your hope die for Matt instead of just a random D6. So they basically oh. did this to try and streamline it to the mechanics as they wrote them in the game, as opposed to just kind of willy nilly throwing a D6 in there, mm. which admittedly is what it felt a little bit like. So D6 out, extra hope die in, discuss. Uh -huh. Interesting, okay, hot take. I... Here we hot go. Take this. Let's go. I love it. I have feelings. <laughs> and I, 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 look, look. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so okay. conflicted. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Unleash it. Unleash They're the They're using logic. And I like the logic behind it. I like I like the logic behind it that if you're doing it, right. if you're doubling down on your hope die for the, for both advantage and disadvantage, it means that when you're rolling with advantage, you're more likely to roll with hope and or crit. And with the fear, like you have to roll with double hope because if you roll double, it's like, okay, there's like a whole breakdown of how the math and logic works here. And I get it. Mm -hmm. However... One of the things, one of the criticisms that has been prevalent with Daggerheart is the accoutrement that you have to have with this game, right? Okay. So already with having a hope and fear die, you're asking folks to have 2d12, which in all likelihood means that if someone's going to the game store they're probably getting two sets of dice instead of one set of dice, or they're buying a set of dice and then an extra D12. Mm -hmm. Like, there's already, already sort of that barrier of entry to rolling is having mm -hmm. two distinct sets of dice. Now with this, unless 
you do the thing where you roll both oh, hope nice. and fear and then you roll the hope again and hope you remembered what the first one was, <laughs> yeah. you're now going to have to have a third D12. Yeah. Mm. So that either brings in a third set of dice or you're going to have to have a random D12. And that's hard. I feel like getting random extra D12s is harder than just a D20. Like you could probably walk down the street and find a D20 in a bush somewhere, but like a D12, it just <laughs> wait, feels... wait, wait, wait. I'm <laughs> Hold on. I'm what confused. Bush? Are, are you saying that Over in a flat not... bush, it's just filled with <laughs> yeah. D- D12s. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that not everybody has like a minimum of yes. 14 sets of dice yes. at this point? Not like, are everyone's you Laura Bailey. And not you, everyone okay. is Laura Bailey or, or us. Guys, yes. And. And here's the thing that like with the D6, <laughs> I don't understand. you already had two D6 yeah. or however many yeah. D6 that Good came point. in those That's sets fair. of dice. So yeah. it feels <laughs> like, here's I don't a, know. I got the answer can I, for you. I, I can answer this for you. Okay. Oh, uh, it, not, not now, but with the official release, once, yeah. once Daggerheart is fully ready to ship, okay. you know what it's going to come with? Hmm. The dice you need. Yep. Oh, yeah. Three um, D12s and... No. It's going to be 18 by the time we get out of beta. I want to pull this comment up really quickly. D18s? Yeah, D18s. I I did misspeak earlier. Thank you, Lord Darius. On advantage, you pick which hope die. And so the mechanic here is that, like, so say I rolled a six and an eight, but I rolled a six on my fear. I could pick the six, and then I crit. Crit. So it gives me the ability to choose to crit or to choose the, if I'm really oh. going for that DC and this is like a, I got to do it. It, it, it Interesting. Puts, again, it's that narrative flavoring of like you, the player are in charge of now, what happens next. Somebody pop up Seth McKay. Oh, Dr. Seth McKay said something a second ago. Uh, where is it? Uh, bop, 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 bop. Scrolling one, back. Gosh. I think I got you. The help yes. action, aid yes. action yes. feels less helpful and potentially. Discuss. Yep. So why? Why, Seth, do you feel that way? And do you guys agree with him? Let me read it. You spend a hope and roll your hope die. The ally you are helping chooses between their hope die roll and yours. Yeah, I don't, um, feels less help because you're rolling a D8 instead of. You you love to substitute a D8 for a D12. <laughs> yes. True. In in a K set, it's just going to be bunch of D8s. Because once I've said something, Four. it's then like muscle Locked memory. In. Good God! Did I did I interpret what Seth was saying correctly? That he's that the rule change he feels like is less helpful. Yes. Yeah, and it potentially could. Again, I'd have to see some math at it. But like, because when you're rolling a D6, you're averaging adding what between it's like 3.5 or something to whatever the other person rolled. Whereas Mm -hmm. when you're rolling with advantage, I can't remember what the boost is. It might be like two. God, people are going to get mad about me. Yeah. This way way swing. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay. Okay. I get that. Okay. So Seth did clarify too. If you roll high on your hope already, then the additional D12 doesn't do much versus add. Ah, okay. That is, that is okay. Okay. Yep. I understood what he meant. So you're, yeah, Yeah. you're choosing between, I'm going to say it right this time, the D12 that your ally gave you or the D12 that you rolled. Y'all proud. Or whereas before it was Mm. taking your hope and your fear roll, Mm -hmm. your two D12s. Yeah, yeah. And adding the DC. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know the maths, Seth says, but that was my name. Yeah. I don't know. Now, the to be fair, though, it. some people, some classes roll different help die. Yes. So Boy. some classes can oh. roll up to a D20 of help. So in some very, it, like, in specific really? instances, this use case will be better. For but for an healthier. average party, mm. probably the D6. Or for an average player, probably yeah. the D6 was going to be higher. Yeah. I like Kai because yeah. I can boost. see y'all doing this yes. to each other where I would feel I bad if you don't end too. up. And I can hear Evan in my head, like, yeah. helping me, me not using it, and Evan going, Because like you spend a hope to do I it. Will, I will say, though, it is mm. a fun, It you know, I, I really like, and I, I especially love a change that we're going to get to in a second with the fear points yeah. and stuff, but... Um, I really love the idea of hope and fear and the idea mm-hmm. of thinking it, thinking of the points as hope and fear, thinking of the dice as hope and fear, and that in your help you are adding. There's a fun to that. Uh, um, I'm not entirely like your help sh- may not succeed either. 
Well, it's just like it's just like um, struck uh, structural storytelling wise, it's fun. I'm not saying right. that it's necessarily going to be the best choice as far as what has helped. Mm -hmm. But if if you say this is my hope die and this is my fear die, and I want to help my friend, so I just you just know I don't you don't have to be like AK. Sorry, I'm not picking on you and say is it a D8? I is it a D6? It is a right. what? No, it's a hope die. It's yeah. your hope die, yeah. and that's yeah. fun. I I kind of. But you're right. I'm yeah. not entirely sure that it's going to be that. I, I think I, I think I, I think I'm picking up what you're laying down. That it's yeah. there's a dramatic element that could be had from your. I want to help this person, and it's still leaving it up to the fates of yes. whether it's actually your help is going to succeed or not, and how's that translated to yeah. the fun of the gameplay of yes. an epic success that you pull shit out of the fire yeah. just in the nick of time, or do you both fall into the fire and TPK? Goodbye. Well, sure. <laughs> what? You fall it's into natural. the giant volcano. It's natural. That's right. And, and, and it's Bjork's natural. laughing. What? And Bjork's <laughs> laughing at the top of the volcano Just ledge, wearing her swan outfit. She's a big bad. <sighs> Don't. She's, she's... You can't convince me otherwise. Don't yeah. you even. Um, oh I mean, the advantage is you're more you're more apt to crit or roll with hope, which mm -hmm. I totally get. Literally, my only. My only criticism is the first thought I had was there's just more tinkery bits. Sure. No, no, no. Mm. I'm, I'm with you there, Which has too. been a big criticism, too. Too. Crit. Roll. Crit. Yeah. Bits. The deck of bits. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I mean, and, I don't care and, that much. I have plenty of dice, but I know some people who don't. Right. Yeah. And, and that was what caught me off guard mostly mm -hmm. about your criticism was like so... Less dice. Interesting. But what's interesting about that, uh, Fitz, is that they said that they were doing it to make it more, like, simple. So you're not trying to figure out what to grab, yeah. basically. Mm -hmm. And so it's always a, say it with me, everybody together, D12. 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 Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it, you guys. Y'all are gonna watch me get it. Yeah. Um, I'm so glad that our friends from Mega are taking Mega, a break Mega, from youth Mega. group, from the youth group climax to uh, learn about the Devil's Playground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, That's right. Our friends at Mega, the podcast. What's your Everybody, go listen to Mega immediately, right please. Just leave oh, this God. broadcast. We're yeah, just, yeah. Go to Mega. We'll be here. We'll be here. Go listen to Mega and then yeah. come back. All right. Yeah. It's fine. That's your so homework fine. for this week. In the world of Mega. D and D and the like is still a satanic panic, and yeah. we love them for it. So go support oh, them. My BS. Yeah. Uh, it's so fun to see. I mean, glitches join the party. I saw Amy's join the party on top of what? so many people surfing on in here, and we love it. Okay. Okay. I'm, What's I, the, I, what I, else? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so okay. I I want to. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit rogue. Uh, okay. Because I, I want to make sure we get to one uh, one change they made that I yeah. thought was fan freaking tastic. Let's and hear it. I especially loved it, like the way that Matt framed it in the Matt and Spencer video, mm. um, because of the way that Critical Role plays and is a way that we've mm -hmm. all. So the bane of many, both party and. Um, uh, GM's existence is the group role. You know, we're trying to be stealthy. We're, we're trying to hmm. do something together as yeah. a group. And you've got that one motherfucker always trying to ice skate uphill. You know? Oh, yes. Go, <laughs> there, go. <laughs> and so everybody, you know, rolls and passing out a trace goes up and we're all uh -huh. stealthing and somebody rolls a natural rolls one. Yeah, everybody's one, you know? like rolling a 30 and then yeah. you've got the the one motherfucker who falls down the hill clanking yes. the whole way down. <laughs> exactly. And it's like, and then for the GM, you're caught in this, like, do I take the average? Do I, like, mm -hmm. let the one be canceled out by the, you know, like, yeah. it's just too much thinking. And so yes. what they have done, what they are suggesting is what they are calling a group action role. Step one, choose a leader. So, and this, they, they were clear to say this is called by the GM. This is not the party wouldn't necessarily say group action role time. But you come to something where you're trying, the, the example they gave was you're trying to get out of like, let's let's talk about falling downhill. An avalanche is happening and we're trying to get out of the way. Right. So, you know, the person who might have the best lay of the land and the fastest route through is going to say, I'm the leader of this expedition. You're then going to go around the table and figure out how everybody is going to help. I'm going to use my body as a meat shield to protect y'all from falling rocks. I'm yeah. going to use my wand to make the rocks explode before they hit our heads. Things like that. Uh, so they each make individual roles. And if they succeed, so you still got to set a DC in your head. 
if they succeed, the per the leader is going to keep adding a plus one for every success. For every failure, the leader is taking away a minus one. So then mm. once the table has gone around and everybody does have to use action tokens in order to participate in this, um, the leader will then make their roll, adding the appropriate plus ones, taking away the negative ones. And now we've actually had this collaborative moment as opposed Ooh. to just saying, all right, everybody sneak. Yeah. Roll yeah. Stealth. Yeah. Which ties into the kind of aha moment that Fitz had last week of like, there really aren't skills in Daggerheart. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we probably wouldn't encounter that a skill check, skill group, skill challenge anyway. So I just, again, it's all about like following the fiction and asking, you know, like, what would Beelzebub do? What are you laughing at now? Mega. <laughs> just, you know, yeah. coming on in here and co requesting also, a co stream. Also, my bestie Drew fully recognizing that she's the one that is falling down the hill every time in real yeah. life. It's gotten to the point where if she falls over, usually I'm just like, you good? And I keep walking because she'll be, yeah. it happens a lot. Yeah. Um, sorry. Yes, uh, I got distracted the, by the show. The question is, do, do you laugh first and then assist or do you? Anyways, that was, that's yeah. always dicey. Okay. Me. So but, so the leader then can be the sneakiest one or the, or Whatever. the toughest one. Yeah. Oh. I do love yeah. it. I do and love so, yeah, it. that's, and yeah. that's exactly, it's like putting the people in position to actually use their assets as opposed to being like, well, everybody needs to be a rogue now, or everybody needs to do a performance check or everybody, yeah. if, if you're trying to deceive somebody in a group, you know, situation, you might have the bard being the face as the bard likes to be, mm. but then you use the people who aren't deceptive or aren't performative or aren't charismatic. That's fun. That is really fun. That's really well mm -hmm. thought out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Rock Job if, if pointed out that it's it's yeah. a lot like the resurrection rules that you see mostly in uh, campaign one. A lot yeah. in campaign yeah. one. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> in campaign, like a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah. yeah, good, Ooh. good, good call there. Uh, I, I can't wait. I'm like I am delighted, and uh, y'all challenge me on this on Sunday when we play some more. Uh -huh. I can't. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to find a, a group action role because it's everything we've all talked about. It's what we loved about DC twenty. It's what we loved yep. about Dagger yeah. in terms yeah. of yeah. Like, right. Yeah, you don't have to just sit in initiative and wait till it's your turn to yeah. do something, or have yeah. to uh -huh. be stealthy if you're strong or whatever mm -hmm. it is. And I love that. So yeah, and it gives. I mean, th there's nothing better than when the character that you've really leaned into being good at some very specific things gets to shine in a moment and be the leader in that way, no matter what it is, whether it's mm -hmm. being sneaky and showing the party like follow me through this forest or if it's you know the bard trying to to get in somewhere and like has coached the people behind him like you just look look intimidating i got this or whatever or like yeah, yeah. hands them hands them a drum to, like just look like a drummer <laughs> just stand there with this right so it i, I like it i like Although, i do like make this. the stink face make the stink face uh, yeah. it, i'm i'm green, trying so bro. hard to not give away any spoilers <laughs> For okay, our actual wait, play. Yeah. I'm not going yeah, to, but I could have, I could have replaced our entire opening scenario with a, with a group role. I wouldn't have, cause that was fun as hell. No, but you're right. right. Yeah. But that true. like in that situation. And I think I thought about that because of mm -hmm. the way that Matt's character was like, you, you did kind of step into a leadership mm -hmm. role mm -hmm. with that. And that would have been the perfect. So now when y'all do get to see it, you'll know, you'll know. Fun, I'm just fun. planting that little Easter egg now. Yeah. Fun, um, fun, fun, so y'all can think about it later. All right. Fun. Um, cool. um so that was if, one I definitely wanted to talk about. One of the ones I really liked uh, that solved something we talked about just last week uh, okay. was on rolls with fear. Yeah. The GM can now choose mm -hmm. to immediately right. take a move or the fear token. Yeah. And they specifically called out uh, how like GMs had like buckets and Hordes. buckets and buckets and buckets of fear, <laughs> a fear die, fear <laughs> tokens, and you know, so this makes so much more sense. Yeah. Which, and... So now, G, uh, it, 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 people in the chat, uh, I was told, and I thought I found the rule last week where uh, GMs can't accumulate more than ten fear. I did mm. read in the one point three, it's now six, and I'm wondering if oh. that was adjusted down. Or if Maybe. I hallucinated the 10 part, it could go gotcha. either way. So that's why I said, keep me honest in the chat. If you happen to know if it was definitively 10 and now it, yeah. but I did see that it is definitely now six. And like already, I, I think that I'm going to toss these out before our next session anyways, but I'm sitting on one, two, three, four, five, six right now. After I used those four on y'all at the end of the session, I'm not allowed to talk about. 
Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't we start the game, no matter what you had at the end of last game, don't we start with two hope in our pockets and two fear in yours? So, uh, in... Or has that changed? Okay. I swear it said session before, and in 1.3 it said campaign, starting the campaign. And I don't know, mm. again... It did say session before. It did. I know it said session, but Mm -hmm. I need to do... Like, I'm not ready to lock that in. And, and, okay, so that's going to lead me in then to one of my other favorite things that that they said that I love. Because there were... I, I even, like... As the GM, while we were playing, I knew that there were parts that rules lawyers were going to come for me. Uh, but, you know, the biggest thing here is rulings over rules. It, it's, the, it's the return to follow the fiction, right? So do uh-huh. whatever narratively makes sense for your table and mm-hmm. have fun with your table rules, with your homebrew and otherwise. So, like, to that Good. point fits. I want y'all to start every session with two hope. Even if it says campaign now, I'm, I, I'm shooting that down for the time being. Okay. And, otherwise, and people are, um, are agreeing. So it was 10. Was 10 it, now, it, you are okay. right about that. That okay. was in your brain noodles for real. Okay, and then, okay, it was always campaign, always campaign. what you have okay. at the end of the session is what you start with. Man, that would be a tracky, oh, yeah. well, I mean, I guess if we're using the digital sheet, it's fine. Yeah. But there's some, there's some tracking things that I worry about. Yeah, uh-huh. and fine. then, yes, Very they also awesome. said, and I, I did some looking into this, uh, I have to adjust my GM screen now, her. Um, although it does help me learn to have to do that where they reduce the fear cost for some yeah. of the abilities. Mm-hmm. Uh, since now I would be choosing to act as the GM or take fear. Mm. Um, Just so for my own like, kind of deeper understanding, I don't like what, what's the cost of like fear stuff. So like explain, I want to do most- this to the players. I want to TPK them. I have to spend 30 fear. Mo- most of it was uh, already one or two. I, like and, to do and it what kind of, exactly? Uh, like uh, I can't. I don't. I don't want to give stuff away. But like to to take your turn to jump in ahead of you guys. And then there were various. I can't remember all the names of them. I'm sorry, but like there were various where you can like choose to taunt or you can choose to like do a thing to somebody. You spend a fear to do it. Okay. 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 Yeah, and it very much mirrored what y'all had on the hope side, where most of your things that you could spend hope on was spend one hope to do this, but then the big one was the spend three hope to tag team. Like feature, mm-hmm. it's like features or ba- like baby legendary actions. Yeah, mm, right. Sort yes. of where it's like a special a, a special feature right. that that creature gets. Here, I'm just gonna pull <laughs> up my screen and, and read off of it. So right now, using fear, I can give myself advantage. I can give additional damage. I can add more tokens to the action tracker, which would make me able to activate more of your adversaries. I can end a condition, uh, advance a countdown. I can, it says do something big. Um, I can spend two fear. This is the old way. I haven't updated my screen. Um, I, in the olden days, I could spend two fear to interrupt y'all. Um, mm-hmm. And then the, the generic fear moves, I believe that were one fear each, were demoralize, endanger, call in reinforcements, reposition, scatter, a shredding strike, a team up, a terrifying blow, or scheme. Hmm. Or or mind okay. killer. Yeah. Okay, Rockjaw put it in a better term. It's an ultimate. Yeah. You can use fear for ultimates. Yes. That feels like a little bit better terminology. Mm. Have we mentioned lately that we love having y'all here. Yeah. <laughs> so much. So great. So uh, as we work ultimate through this attack. Ourselves. Ultimate. This attack okay. is the ultimate. <laughs> um, you paid yeah. for the whole C, but you'll only use the edge. Yeah. So I, I I do think I think it was interesting that they're making us choose. Yeah. Um, as opposed to giving us both. Because I, I will say that felt really unwieldy when we were playing, that mm-hmm. I kept taking fear and then was just, you know, and everybody says like don't stockpile, but I also was trying to let y'all have your turns and not, you know. Right. So it makes more sense in like a flow of combat that I wouldn't be lying in wait as your adversary in that mm-hmm. scenario, but that I would your turn. Oh, you're fearful. I'm going to, I'm going to demoralize you. I'm going to, I'm just going to walk around pantsing everybody. That's going to be my new. Um, pantsing my new is sh- the mind killer. <laughs> oh, so you've spoken with my family players who have done that to my baddies before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm forever scarred by them pantsing the first NPC that turned evil villain against them. <laughs> that you I spent get a so much time. And you get a wedgie. And yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no. going to be atomic wedgies. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yes. yes, as an action. 
Speaking of uh, weddies. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Sing us out of that. What, what? Can I can I can I be a little sad for a moment? Sure. Okay. Yes. Uh brother, that's Matt, your cue wait, hold on, for Matt, a dirge like yeah. whistle. Oh, oh, play, play us into this. Play us the sad <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> So, better than to drink at that moment. <laughs> I just want to say goodbye to the hive mind feature that the fun girl once had. Oh. Sure, it has been replaced with something way more metal, way more ridiculous, and filled with much more decay. However, Mushrooms are so hot right now. The mycelium network is on fire. And I'm sad to have lost the hive mind forever. Thank oh, you. Oh, wow. All right. Good work, you guys. Good work. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, okay, that was, now that unpack, was unpack all that for me. I, did, yeah. I didn't know about the hive mind feature. Yeah. Uh, what have they replaced it with? Uh-huh. And um, who brought the Oreos? So while Fitz looks up kind of the specifics, I want to quickly cover where they made some changes to call out yeah. my players for what y'all need to look at before Sunday. So uh-huh. they made okay. changes to the following ancestries, which don't it only affects Fitz. So they modified the demon, the dracona, the fairy, the fawn, the fungril, the galapa, the human, the katari, the orc, and the rivet. So everybody but Fitz is safe there. They modified the communities. So they modified the highborn, Ollie, Ooh. the wildborn, Fitz, and wow. the seaborn, Seth. Um, so Matt, you're unscathed both on backgrounds, but you're not left out because there's a ranger class update, which was modifications to the companion. Which I didn't um, even and know. also yeah. you have a class feature feature called ranger focus. Yeah. You, you're going to want to look at that. Uh, you're going to want to, oh, you're going to want to look okay. at that before Sunday. Yeah, okay, um, okay. 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 <clears throat> yep. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. That's not what I'm looking for. I wanted, where are the cards? How- how was that vamp fits? <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Except I found the two things that I actually don't need. So the okay. new, I'll say, I'll say the new feature is called Circle of Life. Okay. Circle, Circle of Life. Of life. Um, which is <laughs> that you believe I can fly. That you can draw the last life essence from the recently deceased. Ooh. When within very close range of a creature who marks their last hit point and dies, spend two hope to describe what death ritual you perform and clear one of your hit points. I mean, come on! That wow. is cool as hell. However, what were, yeah, where's creepy. my... Creepy. So creepy. It, and yeah, like, it is. It is. I, so that's what, yeah. I love, I mean, I love it. It's so... So further proving that <laughs> my cereal are so hot right now, the fun girl can no longer call in more. Uh-huh. That is yeah, an right. excellent way to boil that down. Good work. Uh, let's see. And then where? Sorry, guys. Things are. Where are the old? Um, Here, do you, I, th- I think I've got old cards. I got them, I think. I need the uh, old cards. They've added a psilocybin strain. <laughs> <laughs> Gets real. Um, <laughs> It, it's and you can you can take on the microdosing feet. All yes. right. Do, do you need me to bluegills. look up? Yeah. So and here's one of the other big things that I love for 1.3 is they've reorganized the the beta. It's a lot easier to find stuff. That's great. I, okay. As I struggle with 1.2, <clears throat> we now see. So what I'm looking up is the always connected. Is that yeah. what you want me to read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what we mm. lost, what we gained is what Fitz just read. What we lost is what is called always connected to speak with other right. fun girl across distance to access their hive mind of information, make an instinct role at character creation, mm-hmm. describe what ritual you must perform. And spoiler alert, we already used that. We did. <laughs> so Whoops. there may be some some uh, GM adjustments because that was kind of a, 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 a crucial part of fits his character yeah that i would i don't necessarily so what you and or i can you talk. just bake it into the story y'all Look, well somehow i still have the my experience has just Ruling been severed over, somehow the mycelium network returned yeah yeah returns yeah. returns <laughs> return re- returns <laughs> Returnge. started playing a really sad song and then it reincarnated it it was kind of like a phoenix it was amazing <laughs> nice um oh. 
Uh, now we're talking about shroom coffee in the chat. Um, Ooh. Oh, yeah. Shall and we then move to drink that? Do other gross. things that are that are stressed? Uh, or do we that, need? To, or do we need to? Was that everything? Fits mushroom. that you lost? I just. Or... I can't. I also can't share my wildborn feature anymore. Yeah. I can't share oh. my stealthiness with people. Yeah. Which I'm oh. sad about. That, that does was that a, a part of the always connected, or is that something different? It was from my community. I chose Wild Board, yeah. and I picked that oh, okay, one okay. because it fit, and also because I thought I would share it with Holly, but I lost it before I got to use it. I lost Damn. a lot of things, you did. Uh, is what Damn. we're finding, um, between 1.2 and 1.3. Yeah. Um, but. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. So, Fungral, Highborn, Wildborn, Seaborn needs to take a look. Um, uh, Ranger class needs to take a look, and then you do each need to look at your... Uh, your deck cards okay. because there were yep. some adjustments across all of Ooh, all of those. I'm curious yep. to see what Disney plane, how they're. Tr- I'm going yes. oh, right to log in now to see our, like, this oh, affects it's them. It's different. In our Discord, yep. it was real fun. On on release day, we had some super sleuths in our Discord finding like where things weren't lining up and match because there's a lot of changes to armor and weapons, yep. and so they were finding Ooh. some like plot hole. I was like, you guys are so cool. Check your deck. <laughs> Check your deck, says Sarah Check Mom. Your Check your and actually, deck. I think I wrote that Check to it to uh, as a um, as a note. Okay, so we've talked. Oh, we haven't talked about stress yet. Do we yeah. want to talk about stress? I have feelings about stress. One thing I'm one thing I'm a tiny bit sad about. I really, really loved the idea of because I love the threshold bar of HP, and I and I and I love that it, there's three different levels. But I kind of was into the idea, of course, because I'm goth. That even like if you if you hit somebody mm. uh, and you don't take any points, but it's because it's lower than your th- lowest threshold, you take a point of stress. I thought that was if they cool. hit you. You mean mm-hmm. right? Exactly. If they hit you, you take damage. Then you yeah. you do, yeah exactly. You don't actually take damage, but you take stress. I thought that was really fun. Yeah, right. but I mean, they the whole damage that. system has gotten it a, has a gotten judge. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I like I like I like your name, Smurfkull. Smurf cold. Uh, Smurf damn it. So this and so most of them I think they're yeah. minor. Every everything was reduced. Yeah. So that's another thing to take a look at on your character sheets to see what and then yeah. so the big thing is is that you're now up to you start even at y'all's level with six stress points mm-hmm. and six armor slots. So they adjusted mm. both of those things. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. To yeah. kind of make up for that, like because yeah. you're not dealing as much but like you you have more ways to take stress right i i wrote out my feelings on it of course now i'm confusing myself um but there's more opportunities for pcs and adversaries to move through stress into what they are now calling a vulnerable state or they Mm -hmm. were always calling it that so they gave you a couple more slots basically yeah i do like i do like the vulnerable state of course that is fun that is so fun come on and i I like that they highlighted it for not just like combat stuff like they're saying you can be vulnerable just in chit chattering with someone at the tavern yes you know which which happens to me a lot yeah. It's called so, social shouldn't anxiety. Have that, shouldn't have had that third drink, and now it's all bets are off. Oh, no. They've added social anxiety to the game. You know, I liked it until I made that connection, and now I don't think I like it anymore. It's too, well, it's too close to real life. It's, it's interesting that you bring that up, Fitz, because that was actually a lot of the framing of the group action roles was to make that, like, what they're calling social encounters mm-hmm. as meaningful as combat encounters when you ordinarily Mm. wouldn't you know like you would just rely on the dice like this gives you kind of the role play opportunity but yeah like you could tie in some social anxiety Mm -hmm. i mean i like that they're trying in general to make social encounters just as valuable as as awkward as possible oh as awkward and valuable (laughs) as possible (laughs) (laughs) as in comparison to combat yeah, I mean, uh, it's stuff to discuss yeah. for ADHD mm-hmm. twenty. Like all of this, <laughs> this is a neuro dicey playground. It oh, really is. Like, for us. oh, it really they've just is. when you max out your stress in a non combat situation, it means no the RSD mask. is in check. You, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. You, you you have run out of the spoons to mask when there you were in a vulnerable state, and so there you just is. become this warbling <sighs> pile of words. Love it. That may or may not be connected. Like yeah. me right now. 
Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, I, I was going to point out, and I, I can't. I made a mental note to come back to it. We're going to do it now before I ultimately forget forever. Somebody did point out when I was feeling sad about my loss. Thank you. Um, that uh, obviously some of these things can come back. They're looking for feedback and they did note yes. in the video too that they're doing some a b testing so oh, for i would say t for people who made characters or played in 1.2 play the same game in 1.3 if you have a lot of those changes like mine did and then submit the feedback on that because they are it, it's not a linear development they are testing right. a lot of different things mm -hmm. to see what folks like better what works better and maybe it's linear and we're leaving that behind or we might check back to it. Oh my God, Sarah Mobley, RSD and D. <laughs> <laughs> the next, the next we thought, podcast. We thought that, we, yeah, we thought we were smart with ADHD 20, but RSD and D might beat that. Okay, what I'm hearing, tell me if I'm wrong, Fitz. Yes. Is that we're going to have to play Daggerheart for our More. beautiful friends here. At oh. every level of the release to compare. So that way we will oh. have a full compendium. We've already Ooh. done 1.2. We're hitting uh -huh. 1.3. So this yeah. wish that you planted uh -huh. last week, that mm -hmm. it's not parts one and two of a one shot, but mm -hmm. rather episode one. Mm -hmm. epi <laughs> I mean, just pull my leg, you know? Okay. Just oh, twist oh. my arm. Okay. okay. That was, those were mms of, of, of excitement. Of I thought excitement. that was your social anxiety like, building. Mm, and building, uh -oh. building. Oh, no. I don't know. We're, we're all, the question will be, how long will Matt allow me to keep GMing? Are you going to make it? No, nope. I have to give it back. I have to give, I have no, to give maybe, the screen back. Maybe we back. could like, I don't know. Maybe we could like. Take turns. You know. Swap it out. Yeah, tag <laughs> team. GTRSD. You guys um, love you so much. Yeah, this is the best bunch that there is. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go on the record on all of our behalf and speak, be our mouthpiece. We accept that challenge, Darrington Press. Yes. We accept we that accept. challenge. Yeah. We will I, deliver mm. you. God, yeah. just the the speed at which they kind of went and again like yeah. the classiness of of the of the changes and yeah saying hey look if you miss things the we're just throwing more stuff we're just adjusting as we go this is a beta you're a part of it 1.2 to 1.3 turnaround time was fast yes yeah, yeah. snappy they're not yeah. messing around here not yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this was one I noticed this one um, that they they took yeah. away the quick start because they're updating it and mm -hmm. like I think the people that are now kind of in limbo that had a session planned. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Most of us could, but it would be nice that they have that to go along with mm. each phase. Oh, yeah, like maybe yeah. they should have waited for one point three until the quick start was updated. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. That exactly the point I think is being made there. And, and uh, yeah, I say give us a different quick start for every release. Oh, sure. There's my there's my challenge back. I took one on because I do wonder what the cadence will be. I know it's you know? interesting. Yeah, if it's going to be every two weeks, we may have a hard time keeping up with that. Yeah, it could be monthly or something. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, they did they did update like a bunch of baddies and stuff though, so you could always do a a um, dream sequence adventure for a week or two while you wait for the quick start yeah. to be updated. Yeah. I mean, how many how many versions do you th think they're going to go through before they they say this this ham is baked? I mean, they're not saying till twenty twenty five is the release, right? So that's a I think whole a whole lot a, of ham. That's a whole lot of that's, ham, that's and we're getting thin ham. slice. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> throw that cut. question. Honey baked. Uh, Woo! I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that question back to the <laughs> we, designer we, developers we have sitting here staring at. Like, how many versions do things? Yeah usually go through when we're building but i don't know nothing about yeah. no game design it's fair I, I mean yeah uh yeah. layers i, I mean for for a, yeah for a design and development project i mean there's many many layers but um one boxy llama has a has, has, a, a, has a tip a thought yeah they said the survey's closed this summer, okay so three to four more. okay so they're probably okay. Come on now Okay, so the knowledge. beta is going to be for a few months, and then they're probably just going to take all the feedback Close and just down. digest mm. after that. Because a lot of 2025 is not just, yeah, making it better. It's we got no, because stuff has to print go this. to print. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and we got to make we got to get everyone three sets of dice. <laughs> three sets of dice. <laughs> what I was about to say. <laughs> all the dice. And by then, it's going to be four. 
right? Oh, God. They're going to be challenging DC-20s, four D-20s with uh-huh. eight. God. I'll see your four D-20s and raise you 18 eight. D-12s. D-12s, yeah. I can mm-hmm. just feel Laura Bailey's dice gremlin and merch centered brain exploding with all of these changes because yeah. she's mm-hmm. probably well, like okay but matt held his uh, you know like we got our yeah. you know uh uh what was dcc dungeon crawl classics DCC. and they sell like a custom set of dice for well, that that's what i'm saying she's probably yeah. like trying to oh, come up with some sort she you know she's on it oh, well yeah. I mean, we already have like the custom candela dice that they gave yeah. us yeah. From yeah. Dragon, I mean, from Gen Con last year. Gen Con, so you yeah. know they're going to be all about that dagger heart that dice. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. I'm, merchant. I'm taking it. And I'm it's coming straight it. out of Laura's actual personal vault of dice. Yeah. <laughs> she could probably. And her, Bailey's uh, bag of holding has just been yeah. like and remanifesting. Every, <laughs> every table <laughs> in the yes. in the in North America could have a whole set just, just dipping into her bag. Yeah. They could probably Ooh. do just fund a Kickstarter where the only rewards are her dice. Sign me <laughs> up, shut up, and take my money. Right? Oh, um, yeah. By the way, just real quick, having nothing yeah. to do with anything we're talking about, but I sure. think we've hit an all-time high for simultaneous live viewers. Oh, we're up oh. above oh. sixty, Welcome, everybody. Thank we're you. at sixty. Like, we, 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 this, Hi, this is big. Hello, Thanks. Hello. 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 Uh, Thanks, y'all. Yeah. We're nerds that are talking about and playing Daggerheart, and we love yeah. that y'all are in the chat with us talking about and hopefully playing it with us soon, too. So thanks. Oh, my gosh, yes. Oh, yeah. And um, for anybody who is just enjoying lurking, um, we, you are seen in mm-hmm. a gentle way by us. Whether you want you to be here. seen or not. Whether you want to be seen or not. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have your IP. Feel free to... Uh, oh, Matt. To, Sorry. Oh, creepy. oh gosh. <laughs> what did you do it again? Do it again. We have your IP address. <laughs> we don't. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We do not. I meant it. Hold on. Uh, wow. Funny. We only now have 12 people watching us now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's no, good. but. Uh, please continue. You were, yeah, you were I was just gonna. Serious. I was yeah. just gonna say, if you uh, wanted to weigh in later, if you go home and you think about, oh shit, I wish I had had um, given my hot take on something that we talked about, or you want to see us talk about something next week because we're live every Friday at twelve thirty Eastern. Um, follow our Patreon. There's a link to our Discord and everything there, and we have been chatting Daggerheart nonstop mm-hmm. with the folks there. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, you can always get into our Discord. Later. Tell us to shut the hell up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, they tried to make you do that today, Evan, with talk of Skittles. Oh, Wait, what? Oh. Who's talking Skittles? Who's yeah. talking that trash? I threw, I threw Skittles the talk. X card down on your behalf. I just wow. Oh, wow. record to show. Dang, I, had, I feel I had so seen. Back. <laughs> Thank you. I feel seen and cared for. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Wow. It's a, it's a caring yeah, community that that. What? No. Respect just boundaries. Mean. Just mean. Thank you, Galaxy. We do have your address, and I will come over for um, tea and apple pie. Oh, yeah. that sounds beautiful. I would love to accept that invitation. Um, <laughs> we have nothing. I, 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 I want to tease a couple of things. Please yeah. tease. Because you mentioned, you know, tuning in live every Friday. Uh, I, I believe, Matthew, correct me if I'm wrong, that we may have a session zero to drop on the channel later today. We're going to have Ooh. a session zero. You can today. get to know the, both the world. So I will go ahead and say this. For our actual play, we didn't spend a ton of time talking about the world that we're playing in because no. we spent so much time doing that in the session zero. So if yeah. you want to get a feel for our world is called Sygea and we're currently in an area called uh, Moonfall, mm-hmm. um, the players all kind of came up with that in our session zero. So that'll be out later today. You got the weekend and next week to watch it. I believe next it's Friday normal. we may be dropping episode one during our normal live time. So we'll be in the comments for as much of it as we can be. Yeah. Maybe. That is subject to change. I'm going rogue by announcing that now, but I just wanted to get y'all excited. It is fun. Oh, it's it's man, fun. this game, it's you guys. I know I really said it. love it. What love is it? it? Last week or the week before? I think it was have been last week because it was after we played that first episode. Every other game, including, I mean, we've played Masks, we've played Shadow Dark, we did DC20, we've done, we've done a bunch of other, or Fiasco, which isn't a t- mm. TTRPG, but it's, you know, it's, it's fun. Still, it's still fun. Yeah. We tried a bunch of role-playing games in the past year, um, 
and all the ones that we did at con too yeah this dcc DCC, we did DCC, we did that cyberpunky game uh, yeah. that I can't remember the name for. We've done a lot, and this is the first time that I haven't had the itch to go back to the 5e table immediately yeah. afterwards. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty strong. So, I just, I love this game, y'all. It's yeah, pretty strong. And it's, I know I say it every time, I'm just shocked that it's in beta, because it, it's... I know. Yeah. It's looking yeah, real good for a beta. Yeah. And However, we are we are going to speaking of, of sneak peeks, we will be uh our focus will be Dagger Heart for the next chunk of time. Then mm-hmm. we will be uh putting our, our focus back on our, our mm-hmm. beloved DC twenty to see mm-hmm. where the coach is real as curious far to as see uh, where he's gotten yeah. with that. 1.6, maybe 1.7. 1. 1. 1.7 drop. Was it 1.6 or 1.7? I think it's 1.6 still. Okay. It's 1. But, 6. but the Kickstarter is happening. Okay, and we, want, yeah. we want to support yep. that in every way we can. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, the sky's the limit. And then we either come back or we... We got Tales of the Valiant, MCDM. I was going to say, we've got I think we're, we're, Appalachia we want to play. We're for sure doing Tales of the Valiant, Ooh. right? Yep. We're doing that at oh, I, I, I'm legit excited about... Tales of the Valiant. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And primarily oh, yeah. because of, you said something similar, I want to say last week, Fitz, about, you know, kind of not feeling the itch to go back to 5e. And of course, yeah. we all have Hasbro, ick feelings. But I just, I, yeah, the idea, like if if they've, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll just stop yeah. there and just say, I, I'm excited to really check that out and get like the, the comfort food goodness of five mm-hmm. E without mm-hmm. the ick factor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, that, that sounds, that sounds good to me. Give me a plate of brownies. Hell Let's go. Yeah. Let's and go. Then, and some tales of the Valley. Yeah. Mushroom brownies. And then of course, somebody also mentioned that, oh, uh, 5.5 E or six or six E or whatever. One D and D. Yeah. You know, who know. knows? Who knows? The ick factor. So it comes with them, some ick factor. Handled. potentially. It it yeah. might it might but if what if what if what if see we're we try to be a positive corner of the mm-hmm. internet uh, we are not clickbaity ladies no. and gentlemen and other no. we're like yeah we're we're I, I think we're, I know what you're saying brother six e as well we're yeah. the, we're, the we want to be factor. equal opportunity yeah. People, I'm sorry I keep trying to interrupt you sorry, the, no. I, maybe I just want to clarify what I'm saying so the ick factor is. Belongs to the the corporate evil yes. overlords that are Hasbro, mm-hmm. not to the people who are designing the game. No, 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 no shade on them ever. I mean, those people are are doing the good work, the Lord's yeah. work. What's well, left of them because of the evil? <laughs> the Lord below. And, uh, yes. the, Lord the Lord below's work. Below. Well, yeah. Sorry, Seth. Um, I will say this though, like when I compare the ick factor of you know, like we'll play one D and D, we'll try it. I don't mind playing. I don't mind playing Five E with it's, the stuff I've already, already bought. The money's been spent. I'm happy to play it. I always enjoy those games. I don't really want to give more money to yeah. to them. I'll buy more supplements from third party folks, things like mm-hmm. that. I feel great about that. I know if we're comparing, like, uh, shall we say, hmm, consistency and uh, tender love and care that goes into game development. Yeah. I feel like the um, care that has gone into the games that I've seen come out of Darrington Press, not just like the not not just the role playing games, right? Right. Candela was Queen. great. Queen by Midnight mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. one of the best board games that I've that fun. new board games so that fun. I've played recently. That's really wonderful. Um, all of the stuff that Darrington has been putting out, you can tell has been quality mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. done with care. And I do feel like a lot of the things that I see popping out these days from Watsy doesn't have that same level of care. It's true. Um, it's fair to say. See like things that are have been problematic that should never have made it past any sort of readers that made it into books. Yeah in yeah. like 2023 so yeah. you know i i just uh and they feel my very death by a thousand cuts yeah kind of choices yeah. right mm-hmm. yeah like this mm-hmm. has been corporated to death kind it's of lacking ideas. a soul for sure that i feel right. like oh. the kind of indie 
uh, systems have more of. So Vecna is, Vecna is the CEO dry. of, yeah. of, of Watson. <laughs> yeah. Of Hasbro. He's, that is, so I guess Hasbro isn't, what is, what is, uh, uh, what are, uh, Lich's, what is it, the, what they have? They had that thing. Phylactery? They just got phylactery. That phylactery. There it is. Yeah. Yes, I was like, I think Hasbro has become a phylactery, just sucking oh. them souls dry. Oh. Wow. You know, I just realized oh, I need to be careful. Man. I have ragged on both Nestle and Hasbro in like the last two weeks. Maybe we need to tamper down on our yeah. anti-corporation. Yeah. I mean, that's talk, it. It's just but, you know. Yeah, it's it's like they're 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 you know we we have a dear dear friend that works at Amazon. She loves Amazon. They've always treated her well. She is she is up mm-hmm. in the upper echelon of Amazon and and does a lot of good in the company. Mm-hmm. She is a good yeah. person that does a yeah. lot of good, but you can find things that are about Amazon that are absolutely terrifying on every yeah. level. So yeah. it just it's it's the people. We like to get down to the people. Yeah. Uh, we like to be, you know, we like to get to know those people. Yeah. Well, and I know for <laughs> sure that there are so many folks at Watsi who work Ooh. there and feel are, are trying to do the work. You know, they're trying to yeah. have they have a passion for D&D and they they want to do right by the community and yeah. just cor- the corporate structure of the company is yeah. is really tearing that down i mean we saw that with like the people who got laid off back in december mm-hmm. you know so yep. recognize that on an individual level the folks who are working in the D D studios over at watsi are probably doing their best and you know love you for for trying but the end result that's actually coming onto the shelves uh i'm not enthusiastic about in the way that i'm feeling about dagger heart mm-hmm. yeah Fair enough. Yeah. Fair on your night. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll talk about all of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Where's> <laughs> <the devil? laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, bye. Uh, bye. Uh, <laughs> bye. 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 Can we end? Can, you know what, can we? Can we end on not a downer? Let's, let's end talk about something, something that's super fun to to end our time here because oh, I feel man. like my my anti-corporation uh, <laughs> mindset has brought us down here or not. I, well, I, I'll just say, I mean, we, we could fully pivot or like, I will just offer like, there really is no reason to, if you like 5e, if you like the 5e comfort mm-hmm. food, there's no reason to not support Cobalt no. Press. Yeah. Um, no absolutely zero. Or um, Arcane I'm excited. Library? Oh my God. Arcane, or, or, Arcane, or, or, Arcane stuff Library. is, oh my God, so good. It's, oh yeah, it's absolutely. So, good. Yeah. so yeah. you know, all of that stuff is still exciting, mm-hmm. and and now we can pivot to to something else, which yeah. is Skittles. I guess that was the last thing left on our <laughs> Wait, okay <docket>. negativity. <laughs> oh, sorry. For some, not for everybody. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Actually, here we go. Here we go. Galaxy has brought up the topic that we've skirted around but haven't fully discussed. Why don't we end on this? Everybody, pull out your yarn boards. Okay. Oh, I've already given my full hot yarn take here. Yarn Have you? Okay. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think in our very first coverage of it, I, I and it was a conversation that started in our Discord with Tabletop Phoenix ah. uh, that they are absolute. I will be shocked if Campaign yeah. Four is not set and and everything else beyond. I think yeah. the fact that they, you know, okay, so I'm going to go back into the, the the corporate overlord, but the fact that they are heavily touting Demiplane when when um, D&D Beyond was such a part of campaign two, mm. um, I, I think that, that the complete pivot, and obviously we have no, we are not privy to any backroom conversations. We don't know how that right. we have no fell apart zero or happened. Insight. We have no yeah. insights there, but just given how like in the pocket they were, and now we've got this whole beautiful system being built at breakneck speed on Demiplane, beautifully mm-hmm. at that with mm-hmm. all kinds of uh, like there are we were we were looking at it too like there's the player journals and like ways mm-hmm. to actually use it as both a player and a gm in ways that we just haven't seen on dnd beyond yeah so when, all of all yeah. of it going into that yep oh, i'm sorry finish your thought um <clears throat> and then everything that they're pouring in with matt mercer being one of the designers uh, with them rolling out immediately with an actual play with this, the breakneck speed of this, there is no way in my mind you cannot convince me 
that yeah. they are not moving to Daggerheart at the conclusion of campaign four. And I think frankly, and this is what I've seen in the like clickbaity world, I think they need it. I think they're losing a lot of us with Bell's Hells. It's not necessarily five E's fault, but I think the brightness of Daggerheart and the newness of it is going to inject fun in the ways that we've been missing in this mm. most recent campaign that we got a lot of in one and two. Okay, okay. So Love that. Interesting. Do is there any kind of projection on when campaign three is going to wrap. I mean, they are, we're at episode 91 as of last night. I, I think like they're, they they're just got to level least, 13. Yeah. Level 13. Uh, I, I have, I'm Fitz and I were just talking about this last night. We're both a little bit behind. Yeah. Um, I, I'm like three or four episodes uh, behind live. Yeah. Fitz is a couple behind that. Um, I did see a spoiler, so I do know the big thing that happened last night. I will not say anything more than that. I yeah, won't, I won't folks, stay at, st- look, yeah, don't, all don't of talk. us are behind, so keep your spoilers <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> yeah. If you, want, if you want to talk about it in our Discord, use the spoiler Put a spoiler, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, uh, it, it, like, I, I do wonder if they are starting to move into the end game of it, and maybe it was going to be in the, like, 100 to 110. I could see us oh. getting there. I think they're going to try and That's make it That's short to 100 compared to... Campaigns yeah. two and one, right? What I mean, one wasn't that somewhere around like one twenty five or so for two. One was above uh-huh. one thirty, I think. Well, it may be more by actual like real life time than it is by episode because you have to yeah. consider that Bell's Hells is not every single week like the other two yeah. campaigns have been. So they may but, cut right. Bell's Hells shorter. But just two because... had the four month gap because of COVID. Like they they shut down production in oh, March and didn't bring it back up until July. Dang. Um, well, my point with that was this, like, were they going to try to wrap campaign three, coincide that with the official release of Dagger Heart, the new show, new campaign in like, you know, a full on, you know, marketing Mm -hmm. blitz type of scenario. Um, The timing would be right. Mm -hmm. But but if it's not, if it's 2025 for for Dagger Heart to come out, that seems like more than... Than ten ish episodes away, right? I mean, I would imagine won't that I would assume that they'd play Bell's Hells for about two years, right? I mean, it or until like maybe this fall and then take a break like they did between two and three. Two years would be November of this year, I believe. Um, wow. yeah, right. Two years would be November of this year. And so, yeah, if they were able to play it for the mm-hmm. next, uh, taking into account the fact that they only play it two or three times a month now as opposed to yeah. four and five times a month, depending on how dates line up, that still could make sense if they're going to try and get to around 105 to 10 episodes across the next four or five months, wrap it, break for the end of the year, and then come back. I mean, look, Flip anybody who was around watching live for the... <laughs> the yarn boards are out. <laughs> For the for who was around for the end of campaign two live, I thought that it was going to be done, like three months before it was done. Yeah. Um, I'm not complaining because I love campaign two and especially the end arc. It's my favorite. But yeah. I just thought it was going to be over sooner than it was. I liked having the extra time and the extra episodes with that party. But I'm just saying, I think Bell's Hells might last a little longer. I think it would be smart of them to coincide the beginning of campaign for with dagger heart release or they could stagger it because the products will be done stagger heart (laughs) before it reaches our bookshelves right so like they could be playing it for a month or two before we can buy it because of you know supply chain and right like that that, right that that makes sense like let us show you how awesome this is yeah yeah get the Um, hype going and then it hits the shelves i don't know so the counterpoint is um, D and D has been real good to quit roll. I mean, they were really good to D and D. You know, better probably. It's more love going that way. I think it's the way. latter. Yeah. Yep, yep. But it's also like it's it's not not a part of their brand, right? right? Um, Literally. so it's a, yeah. it's a it's a bit enmeshed, and they certainly have probably received a lot of sick money from you know D and D Beyond over the years. That not that they need it necessarily any more i suppose they're they're wildly successful on their own but and they have you know support from other areas but i'm just saying that's a humongous corporate partnership to just walk away from like um, are they really gonna do that i i i, I because i think that it's a one to like i think that you know 
for instance, D and D Beyond sponsored a season that has now been done for three years. Like they've, I don't know that it's not. I mean, again, we don't know. Um, yeah, Evan, I just re- you're going to have to redo the Critical Role logo because it's a D twenty. Right. Right. <clears throat> yeah, that, I've heard now. that before. That is yeah. that's odd. Two well, and, two twelves. And, and also, you know, we're we're talking about we're talking about the. Again, I, I feel like we're talking about this new era of being able to choose your system. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you know, it, it doesn't mean that the Exandria series would switch over to Daggerheart necessarily. It yeah. doesn't have to. They, they still That's can play question. one-offs. They can still have relationships. Yep. And as long as there aren't any full-on corporate slapdowns, yeah. then... <laughs> and there haven't been, right? <laughs> There haven't been what, that I've what, noticed. What? Meaning, yeah. like, there, like you can only you can only do this one shot using yeah. uh, version X. You can only do this if you have the main campaign. I don't think they can even do that. So, like, uh-huh. I, I feel I like love, you could still. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I love the yarn boards here. Both. Uh, I'm left, left a, uh, and Lord Darius said the same thing at the same time. Maybe that's yeah. why the GMs roll a D20. Right. Because <laughs> yeah. they had to jam it in there somehow to keep their level. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> someone made a really yeah, good, point good point because one of the, th- one thing that I have considered as well is that it's, it's a risk if they do, and it's a risk if they don't. So it's, wi- it's right. which path are they going to take? But, um, I think Paul said a moment ago that, um, they're not watching Critical Role because they're playing 5e. Mm-hmm. They're watching Critical Role because they like Critical Role. The system yes, never sir. mattered. Mm-hmm. Agree. So Hard agree. Maybe maybe the better risk then is to, especially if maybe um, viewership is lower than Do it was or anything this? like Sorry. that. I don't know. I I don't know that it would be any system. I mean, yes, they are entertaining as actors, but they were, I think... You know, when they first launched on Twitch with, um, uh, gosh, what was, what was before they had having their own production company at the beginning of oh, campaign Geek and one. Sundry. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, on, on um, you know, it was even then, I mean, D and D still had a, you know, brand recognition. So it's like, if it was, Hey, watch a bunch of voice actors, voice actors sitting around playing a slough game. buckets. I mean, that's like, why they oh, cool. did what's Fluff Buckets? Why do I care? Yeah, they were playing Pathfinder. Yeah. They moved yeah. from Pathfinder to, to 5e. Right. 5e. Yeah. Exactly. At Ooh. that point. Are you, are you calling Pathfinder Slough Buckets? Are you basically no. saying no. it's the same no. thing? No. You, no. Called, no. you called it I, You called it a Slough Bucket. I think that they have said in the past they moved from Pathfinder to 5e because 5e had a, uh, wasn't as crunchy. Mm-hmm. So it was going to be, they thought Rush. it was going to be better for the viewer. And I do totally. Agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, I, yes, I agree with that. I, it, and, and they didn't, they had no idea. They thought literally it was going to be, we'll do this once. So, yep. you know, no one had, could have predicted that that was well. And Lord Darius has the, the point I was like, this all comes back to the freaking OGL. Once they saw how much their, yeah. what they do was tied to what somebody could then take away from them. They had, they had to get work. What, what Matt? <laughs> Slough Sesh. Buckets, the RPG. <laughs> That's going to be our that. game that comes out. Yeah. And it's just going right. to be a box of Hot Pockets and a couple of you dice. Know, wait, hold on. You know what's going to be in those? <laughs> hot you know what's gonna be, Nope. You know what's going to be in those Slough Buckets? Hmm. Meet McSlurry. Oh. oh. Ooh. Ooh. No. Ew. Bye, you guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> no, but okay. But but yes. Uh, but we, we say this. I feel like we say this every week, too. Yes. The the OGL thing was bad for the, the tearing down and the trust and everything. But mm-hmm. so good for all of these other the yeah. people that are distancing, uh, the people who had already created beautiful games like mm-hmm. uh, Shadow Dark. And suddenly, you know, like Kelsey was like, people were really playing game, which mm-hmm. probably would have been a lot, whole lot harder before yeah. the OGL. You know, yeah. I, I would imagine not that games, plenty of great games didn't exist, but you went and you found critical role Biv because we had been talking about playing D and D again. So that's mm-hmm. why you found them. 
and mm-hmm. and I'm sure that the Stranger Things thing also was, mm-hmm. hey, d and I know we say goodbye about 50 times. Sorry, everybody. This is just fun <laughs> for us. Um, yeah, it just, yeah. So so Stranger Things, ooh, who else plays mm-hmm. D&D? Okay, Critical Role. It did kind of feed each other and feed everything in. And D&D Beyond was not owned by by anybody at that point. So. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I, but I think now it is a very 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 different table, and so I I think that the there's a lot more options and a lot more, and I so I think now yes it is it has gone from I'm going to see Critical Role because they play D D to I'm going to go see Critical Role period. What yeah. game are they playing? Oh, for sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I mean they would be bonkers to have the size platform that they have and not promote their own yeah. game. That is actually good, right? Like yeah. they would yeah, be yeah, crazy yeah, yeah, to yeah. not do that. Yeah. So I, I, I ultimately, I'm just playing the devil's advocate. I, yeah, I understand yeah. that. We all are. Where we it's probably, know you know, which way the wind is a blowing. I think Much my what? only hot take. I heat it up. My only hot take. Cook the it. only thing that I feel any sort of mm, at dissonance with within, thank you, AK, within the community is so many people feel like the introduction of Dagger Heart going from 5e to Dagger Heart would require the world to change. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think that's true. <laughs> I really <laughs> don't. To I, like every mm. party has its own vibe. I mean, look at Vox Machina to Mighty Nine to Bell's Hells to the EXU crews. They each have their own distinct tone that I don't think the system matters. Matt Mercer could blow up Xandria if he wanted to, or it could be, oh, the world's Spoilers. fine, and you just... I don't know what's happening in Dagger... I don't know what's happening. I'm kidding. <laughs> like, literally, Xandria could blow up, yeah. and then mm-hmm. they could go to Daggerheart, or it could just be like, you wake up the next morning, this other group saved the world, and now we have a new one who's tra- tramping around... I mean, yes. all it means and if he fine. creates a new world is they get to write new campaign books for you to buy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess I think more so people. It on. I think more people would leave if they changed the universe than if they changed the system. There, that's my hot take. I, I interesting. agree with that. I agree interesting. with that. But the thing is, interesting, is that I think that they've built Daggerheart to accommodate the kind of game they mm-hmm. want to play and world they want to play in. You can mm. see. I mean, just like when we talked about the kind of group action, that's how they want to play this game is to do more stuff collaboratively. Yeah. Somebody, and I, it was so long ago, I apologize, mentioned in chat, it sounds like the help action and, and, and the stress and all of those things that come with it can be telegraphed to what FCG's character is built around. Like they are using yeah. their own world, their mm. own mechanics, their own homebrew to influence the system that they are building for mm-hmm. them to play it in regardless of the world that they play it in, yeah. I think. But mm. Fitz is saying a world without Jester, no thanks. <laughs> I agree with that. Look, yeah. it's not no. If you Bye, blow, up, blow up, Grug, <laughs> blow up Grug, blow up Grug, and it's done. Trying to drop the mic here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jester is fine. If you hurt my sweet baby Grug, then oh, it's over. Mm, oh, oh, now yeah. we're now oh, wow. we're fighting because you know how I feel about J- Jester is my Jester. Grog. Uh uh-uh, uh nope. I would leave Grog a thousand times before I'd leave no, Jester. Grog is, he's kind of the best. That is true. Jester. I won't, I won't argue with you on that. All right, bidet! <laughs> <laughs>